Welcome you watching my show Prime. My name is Rida Kerin Chebet. Thank you so much for keeping it here. And now let me usher in our education segment. It is a Seventh Day Adventist school that was established in 1966. It only had a few students and learning facilities at its establishment. Uh, my name is Onesmas Onguti. I am the deputy principal in charge of administration, Nyambari High School. I have been in this school uh, since 2017 when I was uh, transferred here on promotion and I've worked under three principals, Mr. Gerard Orina, who was transferred to Kakamega and later to Rio Kino Boys. Then uh, thereafter, Mr. Boaz Owino, who came from Aranda, who worked here since 2018 up to last year, June, June when he retired. And then we now have the current principal, Mr. Charles Onyari. Uh, who is the principal in charge of this school. So, Nyambaria High School uh, started in the year 1960. So, and and uh, since then, uh, you know, we have had a number of principals from Charles Mokaya, who was there 1966 to 69, all the way to Mr. Charles Onyari. And uh, the population has also been growing gradually. But over time, Nyambaria School expanded its population to current population of about 3,500 students. The population believed to have been brought by the great celebrated academic strides. Uh, to the current population that we have of uh, 3,000, 546. We look at students as uh, people who are in school, we want them to succeed, we want them to get A's, but when you go inside this student, you realize these students have got various problems. Kindly, let's handle students at a personal level, let's uh, always listen to them. This student could be having stories to tell about their life and these stories to tell could be the source of uh, their misbehavior. My name is Samuel Geoffrey. I'm the incoming school captain. They are 2023-2024 and I'm in three cream. Um, my mentor is our president. Uh, uh, our president and uh, I aspire one day to maybe become the president of Kenya. So the principal, through the help of the deputies and the teachers, have mentored mentors. Uh, in each and every step in our lives, in terms of discipline, in terms of spirituality, in terms of uh, even our uh, health. So by that help and uh, the help of the community, we aspire to be good men in the future. The school has 21 classrooms, a science complex laboratory, a computer lab, a library, a wood workshop and 14 dormitories. So we have uh, 18 streams in Form 1. Uh, with a population of uh, 1,246. Uh, then we have 17 streams in Form 2 with 1,020 uh, students. Then we have 10 streams in Form 3 and a population of uh, 686. And finally, Form 4, we have 10 streams and a candidature of uh, 594. Uh, we have a teaching staff of uh, 100 and uh, 46 teachers, 95 of which are the TSE, and uh, 51 who are uh, employed by the Board of Management. The school offers a wide curriculum of subjects, uh, ranging from the compulsory subjects uh, to the sciences, and we also offer a variety of uh, technical subjects, ranging from, uh, from music, art and design, building construction, power mechanics, electricity, even, we are even offering, offering home science. So it's normally known to be for girls' schools, but we have seen our boys uh, doing very well. Uh, the school has 32 dormitories, 55 classrooms, 5 science laboratories, and the 2 computer labs, one of which you visited. That is the one that was donated by Andrew Wems Foundation, that is based in uh, Sotik T. Uh, and then uh, uh, we are still having some shortage of infrastructure. That's what we are doing. If you have gone round, we are actually currently doing uh, uh, some infrastructure. On the other side, we are doing 25 classrooms. There is a story building of uh, five floors where we are doing five, 25 classrooms. 15 of them have already been occupied. And uh, the rest are uh, actually undergoing uh, completion. And the, 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 the structure is going to be opened on the 8th of September. 
by the CS Education. Nyambaria High School's performance has been impressive, unlike in 2007, whereby the school was ranked position 59 nationally and position 5 in Nyanza province. The 2009th group secured position 27 in Nyanza province. The school has been posting a very good mean. Uh, for the last maybe four years, in the year 2020, we had a mean of 8.105. In 2021, we had a mean of 8.78, and uh, we had 300, uh, 308 students out of uh, 343 who made a direct entry to the university. According to results released by Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Mashogo on Friday, January 20th at Mitihani House in Nairobi, Nyambaria High School posted a mean score of 10.8975, emerging among the best in the country. 2022, we posted a mean of 10.898, and uh, all our 488 candidates made it to the university. And from uh, the placements that we had, uh, out of the 488, 40 of them are going to become doctors, 100 of them engineers, we have uh, 30 lawyers, and a number of other faculties where the students have been taken. So we want to say that uh, in terms of value addition to the society, Nyambari has done well because we are not going to have criminals in the society. Most of our students are going to be very creative uh, uh, courses. The students are also involved in contests, symposia, discussions and excursions, contributing to the positive representations in co-curricular activities. We have been doing well, for example, in the ball games this year. Uh, most of the ball games went to regionals, but we had uh, some indoor games uh, such as chess and the table tennis, which are proceeding to, uh, to, to nationals. And uh, we also have uh, three items in music, which are proceeding to the nationals, which we are going to have in Nyeri. That is, we have a solo bass, a choral bass, and uh, one instrumental that is going all the way to, to the nationals. This school is different in terms of mostly spirituality. So every boy who comes in this school, especially when we enter Form 1, there are three things that we are encouraged. That is the rule of PhD. P standing for prayers, H standing for hard work, and D standing for discipline. So that thing is uh, in the mind of every student. Wherever he goes, he must follow the rules. So it has meant that and uh, changed even boys who came here with bad behaviors. Now, basically, when students grow up, they go to various challenges as adolescents as they adjust in their growth. So, in Yambaria School, as a guidance and counseling, as guidance and counseling uh, department, we enable our boys to grow from young men to mature gentlemen in society. So in uh, Form 4, we enable them to work uh, as, as they are working hard, as they are preparing for their exam results. We work with them closely as they, ve they, 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 they face various challenges. We encourage them to finish strong and uh, successful in preparation as uh, they join the society at large. My name is Mary Magdalene Nekesa.